Hi, we're Jerry and Diana. It is April of 2024, and this week we left our home near Seattle, Washington to drive over the mountains to Lake Chelan in central Washington state. If you have not been to Lake Chelan before, it is pretty amazing. The water is beautiful. The mountains have snow. And it's our first trip out in our tiny travel trailer and suburban in 2024. Lake Chelan is a really popular state park. And then there's another state park also on Lake Chelan called 25 Mile Creek Park. And that one is just further up the road from where we're staying. You might not be familiar with Lake Chelan, but there are a million YouTube videos about it, including my own. There should be an eye in the sky and a link in the description. So make sure you check out the description. So I thought today I would go over what's new for 2024. What did we get for the trailer? What are we gonna do with the trailer? We got a new tablecloth. Seems like a minor thing, but we buy these really thick vinyl tablecloth and it lasts for years and years, unless Jerry gets a hole in it. And so our other one was blue and didn't really go with our stuff. And so this time I got a gray one. I thought it went with the silver camper. This is our Whitewater Riverside Retro 155. You see the number? Travel trailer, year 2014. The water pump died. It accidentally was engaged during winterization and was going on and off. So it died, Jerry fixed it. But Jason and Leilani, they're in the Conconelli videos. They gave us this mat. Life is better at the campsite, but Jerry has been keeping it by the storage and uses it when he climbs down on his knees and protects his knees from getting dirty on the ground. We bought this last year and you've seen our little map before. Making memories one campsite at a time. I am going to be seeing Gone to the Snow Dogs, my friends Just Jamie Dan, in a couple weeks. So I was coloring a picture of their dog Memphis. Isn't that what everybody does on vacation? You color your friends dogs. This year I bought covers for the dinette. It doesn't really go with this pattern, so I have a lot of work to do. We'll figure it out. But these are our temporary covers. It was just this pattern and then some beige vinyl. Jerry didn't love it. I didn't love it. I think I might buy better ones when we get done with the fixing it up, but for now, these will do. This year I'm experimenting with window covers. Our trailer has curtains and they are awful. They're velvet curtains, which is, you'd think would be nice. They block out a lot of light, but you can see they've had some wear and tear and they're starting to kind of unravel. Plus the curtain always wants to fall down. And then you'll see we had it all jammed up like that so we could look out because the curtains take up like half of the view. So I ripped the curtains down on this side and I've been experimenting with these window coverings. They come like this and I, they Velcro on. So it's complete blackout at night. And then in the morning, you just rip it down and you have a complete view. And there were flectics too to keep heat in and the cold out. And then I just put them up here off the kitchen. <laughs> Right there. Those were a hit. We only had two. I didn't buy them for all the windows because I wanted to see if we like them. Well, we like them a lot. I was gifted this throw blanket this year, which is also making memories one campsite at a time. And honestly, I've been using it quite a bit. During the day, if I want to take a nap or anything, I don't rip the bed apart. I just grab the throw blanket. Or if I'm too hot under my covers, just the throw blanket. It turned out to be something very convenient. I was also gifted this Queen of the Camper mug. It's an actual mug mug, you know. It's made of ceramic. For camping, I usually just use an uh, insulated steel mug. So the reason this year I was grateful to have a ceramic mug is Jerry decided to do this. This is the microwave that was built in to the kitchen inside the camper. 
but we only used the refrigerator in that kitchen. We never used the microwave. We couldn't imagine we ever would. In fact, I have my clothes stored in it, in the cabinet where it used to be. And so we just put aside the microwave so that when we sold the camper, we could put it back in it. Well, Jerry decided to get it out this year and he brought it with. Oh, and he brought his coffee pot too. So we have been microwaving things. Last night we made hamburgers and tonight we'll be microwaving them. Generally, people have been pretty impressed with Jerry's kitchen setup. So when he comes back from fishing, I'll let him go over it with you. It's pretty cool. He built it all himself. When we bought the trailer, the family that had used it before us, they threw a lot of things in with it. It's got a cover, which is really nice. And they threw in three strings of these little trailer lights. Well, I ordered two more strings and this is the first year I've had all the strings up. So there's five strings of little trailer lights. Little trailer lights. My hack for stringing them up is I went to Dollar Tree and I bought these rings, you know, like you use in a binder. And those are holding my lights up. I got these earrings as a gift too. <laughs> Everybody has to have trailer themed earrings, don't they? The battery was dead on my camera when I got to the lake, but I took lots of good pictures for you. place really cleared out. It was very full. Today's Sunday. It was very full on Friday and Saturday night. And we had the smallest, saddest looking trailer of anybody. But there's lots of people tent camping here too, so it's all good. And I'm still short two more stickers. I need one from the trip to Middle Sylvania. I think I might get Mount Rainier for that. And then this trip to Lake Chelan. So I just realized I should explain this. Uh, oh, there it is. That's where it hurts. Ow. <laughs> First day we were here, I was getting things in and out of the trailer and I was standing on the step reaching into the trailer and I didn't want to come in with my shoes on. So I was reaching over. I lost my balance. I was trying to open a drawer actually. And so I had started some forward momentum pulling on the drawer. And when I pulled on the drawer, I lost my balance and I fell headfirst into the step and cut my head open a little bit. Well, it was road rash, it didn't really come open. It sounded really, really bad and it felt terrible, but it hasn't turned out to be that bad. I mean, my neck and stuff have been stiff because I tried to catch myself, obviously. It's survivable, but now every time I go to the doctor and they say, have you had a fall? And I'm gonna have to say, yeah, I fell head first. <sighs> so embarrassing. I don't know if I can reenact it. Let's see. So I was right here. I stood up on the first step and then so I leaned over and I was trying to pull this drawer open. So I'm trying to get this drawer open and it caused some forward momentum and I just continued to go forward. My feet are on this step and I didn't want to get this dirty, which I ended up getting it dirty anyway. <clears throat> and I leaned way over to pull and kept going forward right into that. So that is the story of my camping injury in Lake Chelan, how I got hit on the head. And obviously I didn't get a concussion and never blacked out. But I was like, Jerry, I fell on my face. You have to come. He came over and immediately just started teasing me, which is not helpful. Hi, Jerry. Hey. See? All the trailers. Little trailers. Jerry's kitchen tour. Yes, Jerry's kitchen tour. So, open up the 
hatch. And we got cable leg. It's made out of a clamp. Tailgate. Counter space. Yeah. Right. These are adjustable. Uh, what held the door up? Oh, that uh, cabinet magnets on the edge of the, of the cabinet. Some stove there, and I have a portable grill. And there's also another portable grill that goes right here. It fits in there, but we didn't. Oh, we got the strip, so I didn't have that. And we've got a 12 volt fridge. It's a Bouge RV fridge. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I call it the Bougie Bougie. RV. Yeah, it's. Is that a fridge or a freezer, Jerry? I don't know how you said it. But it's just one side. So it's yeah. either a fridge or a freezer, not both. Yeah, and I have a, hump, a 100 amp hour uh, lithium battery in the back of the Suburban that can power that. Oh, now is this power off of the 100 amp power battery? It's just, um, I cobbled together uh, some outlets that I had at the house, so now I can plug in when we go to plug in hmm. parks, which seems to be the, our norm when Diana goes with the trailer. Now I just, I just have this set up so that everything's plugged in off uh, 120. Okay. So I have a battery charger for the little battery in there so that charges so I can drive around if I want, keep this cool and I don't have to worry about the battery, you don't have to hook up solar. Um, and I've got outlets on both sides, as you can see I've actually got the coffee pot plugged in from this morning. And I brought the microwave with us. And we used it. And we used it. I put the microwave up here and we use it. Because that came out of the trailer because we weren't using it in there, but it turns out we'll use it in here. Anyway, so then the bottom compartment here that's open, uh, almost out of paper. Well, no, I've got a roll of paper towels, so I can put that down here now. I have paper towels, wipes, and the, we've gotten our dishes down quite a bit. We got a cast iron uh, skillet and a sticker top. And then it's cheap Walmart plates. And then cheap Walmart bowl. And the Stanley uh, the pot bowls. with two bowls. And that really does seem to be what we need for pots and pans for just two of us. I don't know. <coughs> no. We had kids, it was a lot different, but just us. And then bottom drawer. And these are, I haven't totally organized these yet. This It's not bad, but got a bunch of knives. I think everything that we pretty much need for kitchen cutlery and utensils. I got some spare propane, a couple insulated stainless steel mugs, lighters, cutting boards. Um, and then on t up top is more kind of not the cutlery stuff. Got spices and a small fire extinguisher and up gloves and roasting sticks and stick lighter. My my level. So I usually I'll level this. It's probably not level. No, it's pretty level. And uh, tip locks. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And then. On the far side, you know, I've got my paper towel holder that I threw up in here so I can close that off. Also made with a clamp. I don't know what the name of these types of clamps are. So there's my paper towel. And then my garbage. 
clips on that. So here's my DIY 12 volt water pump system, which in theory is awesome, except for I haven't figured out a hose. This is the second attempt at a hose that uh, doesn't taste Plastic. terrible, yeah. terrible. I've got a five pound bottle, I think they call it. It's a little smaller propane tank, bigger in the green tanks, refillable. So my water jug, which is five pounds. That works very good. It fits in there perfect. These things travel well. And you have power on this edge too. And I have power here. Yeah. And I just loop that around there. And I wanted to close the hatch. That's the Harbor Freight little garden, mini garden spray. Um, I use it for cleaning and I mean, I just use it all the time. Yeah. I, cool. I won't go camping without this. That's the kitchen. Nice. Yeah. Thanks, Jerry. Yep. Here's another one of Jerry's uh, setups. Phone holder for me, phone holder for him, backing camera, forward camera. 